Continuing our conversation about Perl and SQL, um, here is just some examples of uh, things that you might need to communicate with uh, SQL database when you're working with Perl. Uh, as we talked about before, you're going to need things like your data source name and your database handle, uh, as well as your uh, database interface. So. Uh, you can see what I've done here is I've set up a local path with my local file. I'm saying that my data source name now is uh, your database interface, SQLite, and DB name equals those two variables. Uh, I'm, we're not using any sort of authentication, so just username and password are blank. Uh, your database handle then is your database interface connecting to the data source name um, and then if you had, again, security with uh, user ID and password. And then just setting some um, standard uh, errors, commit, uh, hash key names, that sort of thing. So this would be a, a very um, common method in Perl for accessing a wireless database. Um, here, again, this is this idea of a database interface. Uh, we're just saying connecting to the data source uh, with a username and password with other attributes. So the data source um, has something like the form of your database interface, SQLite is the result, database name, and then it would be the name of the actual file. Um, what this is going to return is your database handle. So what you can do, you can see here in, in this example, my DBH or database handle is that database interface connection with those other variables. So this returns your database handle object. Uh, again, uh, just some, some SQL review. Uh, what I'm doing here is I'm setting an SQL statement uh, by, by putting it into a variable. That way it doesn't have to be typed over and over again. Uh, it's also easy to make some mistakes with SQL. So in these two examples here, uh, I'm selecting the altitude from the wireless access point table where manufacturer equals Apple. So what this would do is return um, every altitude of every Apple wireless access point. On the second example, I'm setting my SQL statement to um, return the manufacturer and then the average of the best altitude and the count. So it would say Apple, for example, the average of all the altitudes of the Apple wireless access points, and then the number of how many wireless Apple access points. Um, is, of course, it's selecting manufacturer average altitude and then the count from the wireless table. It's grouping it again by manufacturer and ordering by the altitude. So these are a couple example SQL statements that you might use. Um, your statement handle object in this example here, I'm just saying um, statement handle is the database handle, which is the SQL statement. Um, so it's, it's a little bit confusing, but it's basically your database handle um, prepares your SQL statement and then returns whatever your SQL results would be. Um, the statement handle actually uh, executes it. So these are a, a couple ways of preparing, retrieving the SQL, preparing the SQL, retrieving the SQL, and then processing the SQL results. Uh, in this example, um, I'm doing a, a while um, item in list. So while there are rows on that statement handle of um, fetching each row from the array, it's going to print 
those three results, which in this case would have been manufacturer, best altitude, and count, if you go back and look at the uh, SQL statement. So that's item zero, item one, and item two. Um, when you're done using the database, make sure that you disconnect. Uh, this would just close the connection uh, uh, from your uh, SQL.